Well, I'm going to do another John Rich song. Uh, again, this is another uh, request. Forgot the word for it. Wow. John Rich, shutting Detroit down. Detroit. Yeah, big cities failing, businesses going out of business. Detroit's one of the the uh, indicative cities, uh, one of the iconic cities, one of the, uh, what's the word for it? The um, canary in the coal mine. There you go. That's, a, that's, a, that's the analogy I'm looking for. It's a canary in the coal mine type uh, city, letting us all know, you know, what's coming. Let us know what's coming. Things keep going the way they are. You know, our entire country is going to be a whole bunch of boarded up businesses because this can't keep going the way it is. Just today, Dow Jones Industrial down a thousand points in one day. 2,000 over the last three days. Reaction to the idea that uh, Kamala Harris might actually get elected. And I think Wall Street's trying to put their vote in early. In any event, let's listen to John Rich shutting down Detroit, shutting Detroit down. See what this sounds like. I am not familiar with it, not heard it before. This will be a first time listen for me. Give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, ring a ding ding the bell, and here we go. The country remains in a financial downdraft. New Two numbers of the big are three in. in Detroit Millions are on the America. brink of bankruptcy. We're live at the state capitol where New lawmakers information is continue. out and more have fallen into foreclosure. Now the question is, when it's will the housing market happening again. Executives of another company are in trouble tonight using bailout money for bonuses. Boy, how much of this have we heard in the news over and over and over again? So much deceit and 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 illegal behaviors you know we're wasting all this time in government trying to fight republican democrat whatever who's letting these companies go out of business and and profiting by shorting them and longing them and buying their stocks or selling the stocks and this criminal activity has got to end it's going to destroy our entire country americans are outraged in congress Hey, Need to see me? Yeah. What's up? One of my favorite musicians. Big John, actors. you've um, you've been here a long time. It's the hardest thing I've ever had to do, buddy. I gotta let you go. You knew it was coming. I I did everything I could, though, John. I Ernie, see. I know you done all you could. It's gonna be hard to tell Evelyn. I've been here thirty years. Anything you need, I don't care what it is, you call me. 30 years, instead of retiring and getting the gold watch, he gets the boot. This, you know, this is why I get so angry with politics, because they're wasting everybody's time dealing with all the nonsense and lies. In the meantime, these companies are doing this kind of stuff. Companies, people are being hurt. People are dying in the streets. Families are being destroyed. And we all just sit on our butts and just watch it happen. What's it going to take for people to finally get up and get motivated to do something about this? We have got to turn this country around and start getting profitable again. Any time of day, it don't matter. I know, I know. That, um, he's going to have to walk you out, John. I'm sorry, it's policy. I know. It's just policy. Policy, my uh... country everyone's the same you work hard for your dollar and you never pass the blame when it don't go your way and now i see all these big shots whining on my evening news about how they're losing billions and it 
it's up to me and you to come running to. Hey, Ernie, you gotta be kidding me. The rescue. You know we've been expecting cuts, but... No, 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 hold on. There's a whole bunch of other people that ain't been here half the time he has, okay? I understand now. Now, why don't you come down here we talk about it? There's nothing I can do about it, buddy. It's out of my hands. Folks. He's been here 32 damn years, all right? I'm... Oh, you, man. Well, pardon me if I don't shed a tear Cause they're selling make-believe and we don't Cause in the real world they're shutting Detroit down While the boss man takes his bonus pay and jets on out of town City town here in the real world, they're shutting Detroit down. Here in the real world, they're shutting Detroit down. Well, that old man's been working in that plant most all his life. Now his pension plan's been cut in half, and he can't afford to die. And it's a crying shame. Cause he ain't the one to blame. And when I look down and see his callous tears, well, let me tell you, friend, it gets me. Detroit down While the boss man takes his bonus pay and jets on out of town DC's bailing out them bankers as a farmer's auction ground Yeah, while they're living it up on Wall Street in that New York City town Here in the real world they're shutting Detroit City town here in the real world, they're shutting Detroit down. Here in the real world, they're shutting Detroit down. In the real world, they're shutting Detroit down. They're shutting Detroit makes me mad John Rich put this song out a long time ago but it's so true today and looking at our current political situation and everything that's going on it just makes me so damn mad one of the other uh, creators that has a uh, reaction channel put a video out the other day and he was apologetic, gave him the impression that, in his opinion, he didn't think he was really doing anything of value by having a reaction channel. He was just profiting off the work of other people, which some people have that argument. But it all depends on what you use this platform for. If all you're going to do is listen to music all day and, and, uh, and talk about you know, what you like and dislike, is that important? Yeah, because it gives some perspective to other people and some insight as to maybe what they should like and dislike. You have the opportunity to be a influencer here. 
very directly. We're influencing people as to what music is good and not good, which goes on the next step of influencing people as to what culture is good and not good. And um, because they need to have somebody hear it. They need somebody to say, hey, this is a cool song, or this is a great song, or hey, I'm really glad this came out. I'm really glad this came out because this is the kind of stuff that people need to start getting upset about. So if you're a if you're a YouTube influencer, then you have a responsibility to uh, to do to do good with with your opportunity. So uh, and that's kind of one of the reasons why I'm here. In this situation, all of us should be getting very upset about this kind of stuff going on. And, um, you know, may, maybe I'm getting, you know, I'm 65, 66 years old next week. I'm getting kind of old to be getting out there and doing much. Uh, but I do have a voice, and I could use that voice to maybe motivate somebody else to get up and do something. Now, I don't suggest you go out and, and shoot people, but I do suggest you get involved, get get. School board, local school board, local local elections, you know, state elections, get involved. Run for an office and, and let's get people in place so we can put an end to this nonsense. Uh, I don't care if you're a Republican or Democrat. These, co these companies have got to be held accountable. These politicians have got to be held accountable. Uh, we've been letting too much stuff going on for too long, Okay. You leave the border open, you're going to have murderers and rapists come in, and, and we're seeing that, and we're already seeing people in America. We're, we're seeing children being beheaded in our streets. Mainstream media ain't covering that, but Google it, it's happening. We have people dying from from all these drugs that they're bringing in. Uh, you know, they've brought enough fentanyl into our country at this point that I'm concerned they're going to go to like the uh, the reservoir that supplies Los Angeles or New York, dump, you know, 20 tons of fentanyl into that water and poison everybody in those cities. What else are they going to do with all that much fentanyl? They're catching tons of it at the border, literally tons of it at the border. What else are you going to do with that? You got all these military-age people crossing the border coming in. It shouldn't happen that way, folks. It shouldn't happen. Yeah, I, yes, we want people to come in. Give us your tired, your poor, and your hungry. I f fully agree with that. But it's got to be in a controlled fashion. We got to we got to take a little opportunity, take a little bit of a breather here, and check people out before we let them in our country. Nothing wrong with that. Oh man, I'm sorry. I'm just so angry about this. All right, well, I'll have more for you later. Let me see what else I can find for us to listen to. John Rich, sir, thank you very much for putting out this song, Shutting Detroit Down. We need more songs like this. We need, I call this an anti-war song. We're not in Vietnam anymore. We don't need people trying to shut down the war in Vietnam, but we do need to shut down this war on our society, on our way of life. Uh, we've got to get these drugs out of the country. We got to get the, the border secured, and we got to get these politicians who keep buying and selling stocks at a profit with insider trading, and and we got to get it all stopped. This Epstein Island nonsense. We got to get it stopped. Having having uh, um, uh, you know transvestites having book readings in our elementary schools. We don't need to have that. We don't need people, gay pride parades where people are dancing naked in the street. We don't need that in America. Hey, and don't get me wrong. If you're gay, that's fine. What you do in the privacy of your own home, absolutely pride. Fine. If you want to be proud of that, that's fine. I have no problem with that. Just don't bring it out in the streets and put it in everybody else's face. I mean, I'm a I'm a gun-toting redneck, but you don't see me flashing my gun in everybody's face. I could, but I don't, because I'm respectful of other people. So maybe it's time, instead of you saying we're disrespecting you because we're not saying your pronouns, maybe you should start respecting us by not putting all that up in our faces. That's all I'm saying here. 
And if I lose subs because of that attitude, c'est la vie. As Emerson, Lake, and Palmer said, c'est la vie. Anyhow, that's all I got for you right now. Rant over. <laughs>